Now we turn to campaign 2016. The deadline has come and gone for candidates to file to run for office in Rhode Island. And tonight we're getting a closer look at how many local mayors will face opponents. WPRI.com reporter Ted Neese has been tracking the filings all week and he joins us now with the details new at 530. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza isn't on the ballot again until 2018, but the leaders of seven other Rhode Island communities are all on the ballot this fall, and almost all of them are facing challengers. Warwick's Republican Mayor Scott Avedesian is seeking his ninth full term, leading the state's second largest city. He faces a challenge from Democrat Richard Carrenti. Over in Cranston, Republican Mayor Alan Fung is seeking a new four-year term after eight years in office. But first, Fung will have to fight off a challenge from Democratic City Committee Chairman Michael Seepe. Another hot race, North Providence, where Democratic Mayor Charlie Lombardi hopes to win a third four-year term. But he's got spirited competition in the Democratic primary from Councilwoman Kristen Catanzaro. Independent Brian Quirk has also filed. Pawtucket's Democratic Mayor Don Grebian is asking voters to give him a fourth term. Two independents, John Arcaro and Kevin Crawley, have filed to run against him. Up in Woonsocket, Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt just kicked off her first re-election campaign. She has three opponents in the nonpartisan race. Michael Monez, Roger Gillette, and David DeSatel. And in Central Falls, Mayor James Diosa is running his third re-election campaign. He's set for a rematch against City Councilwoman Tia Restaino C. But one local mayor looks on track to coast to re-election unopposed, Cumberland Mayor William Murray. The Democratic incumbent is finishing his first term and nobody has filed to run against him. The next step for all candidates is to collect enough signatures to appear on the ballot. We should know who's qualified by the middle of July. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.